today bye. we are gonna bye, talk bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. today we're gonna talk on the five tips bye, of taking bye, bye. photos bye, of bye. young kids are you a young kid yeah so tip number one can you tell me number one candid is always best why is that you tell a kid to say can you say cheese cheese what do you say when I do cheese Ah, oh, you did it but most times the not you know the kids will not stay still for a picture right so candid is really the best to get the most natural photo and also just capture the moment right so I like to take pictures of you and your brother and your friends when you're playing and when you're at your in your environment at your element and just kind of like discreetly take photos so that's my tip number one tip number two two is to get to know your phone camera and what do i mean i mean the only you need to know your phone in order to take a photo like how to get to the camera quickly because those moments will go by so fast how to you know the techie stuff but it's the necessary stuff so that's the tip number two tip number three can you tip show me number three three is to how to hold your phone properly this was my tip of last week and it's just really important for the focus to keep Blah. the things in focus and stable because otherwise <laughs> you're just going to be blurry, right? Blurry, blurry, blurry. <laughs> and then tip number four. Tip number four. <laughs> is to go low. So when I say go low, I mean go at your eye level. If I see you, I'm at your eye level instead of if I was, you know, shooting the picture from down here, <laughs> which is... A different perspective and can be interesting but normally you want to be shooting at their eye level right it's like when someone talks to you you want to see them in the eye right and then tip number five can you show me five five is to pay close attention to the light where is the light in your area when you're shooting a picture of course you don't always have the ability to control this but when we do we definitely want kind of more of a frontal light on the person and a backlight where the person's all in shadow is probably not ideal. So those are my five tips. To summarize, tip number one, tip number one is candid is the best way to go. Tip number two, tip number two is get to know your phone camera. Tip number three, tip number three is hold your phone properly. Uh, tip number four. four is to go down low, shoot your subject at their eye level or lower. Tip number five, five is to pay close attention to the light. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a good day. Let's go.